welcome. My name is Dr. Trina Boyce, otherwise known as Movie Review Mom. And today I am so thrilled and honored to be with not just one director, but two. We have writer director Russell Brown. Sound of applause. Say hey, Russell. <laughs> and actor director Kelly Blatt. Woo. And writer. <laughs> Kelly Blatt's too. He wrote, he's wrote both the movies he directed. I know. It's amazing. I've got a million questions and I already told him I'm frustrated already because I know we're going to run out of time. So I'm going to talk fast and see how many questions I can barrel through. But the first question is because I'm movie review mom, if you two were to direct a movie about your own mother, what would the name of the movie be and which actress would star as your mom? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's got to be an original. Original. Oh, original. oh okay. Yeah. Not an already made movie. Um, hmm. I know. I'm totally putting you on the spot. That's you no, guys I, are creative and quick thinkers. It's it's okay. a great it's a great question. I think I know the actress who I would have play my mom, although she's a little just a little bit older than my mom is Sally Field. Oh, Sally Field. And. Uh, the title would be. Uh, be Sweetheart. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you score big points with your mom and, me <laughs> and every other mom watching this. How about you, Russell? Did you think of something other than Sunset Boulevard? <laughs> uh, that's such a good answer. I mean, my, you know, my mom always reminds me of Judy Collins, and Judy Collins isn't really like an actress, but I feel like if I could find someone like Judy Collins, then that would be like my mom. And my favorite memories of my mom always had to do with folk music. So I feel like that would be, that would be it. And then I don't know what I would call it. I have to think about that one. Would it be a musical then? Yes. <laughs> very sweet and well I was going to jump into the music but first I just wanted to say before I even knew I was going to get to interview you two you very talented too um I gave your movie an A in my movie review and so well done uh, both of you two um and so I wanted to quote uh, something that Russell Brown had in his movie called uh, the Bluetooth Virgin, when a character says, Re reviews don't mean anything in the studio world. Reviews are crap. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that line. Sure. So what makes a good review? I mean, that's what I do. I share uh, content, quality, things I love, things I didn't love, you know, all of that kind of stuff. What do you think makes a really good review? And do you watch them? And do you read them? This is for both of you. I mean, you want me to, I'll go first. I mean, you know, <clears throat> whether or not a review is positive or negative, you know, you can always tell if someone has really thought about the movie. And to be honest, like if you get a negative review, I got a negative review once in one of the trades, but I thought the critic was really fair. And actually what she wrote about the movie, I thought was really thoughtful. And I totally got it, you know, and you can also feel when you get a bad review, when someone has really just not paid attention or even considered it. Like they discounted the movie for some, they didn't like the premise or whatever, you know, and they weren't evaluating it on its own terms. So I think like, you know, in that way, people can sort of choose to be thoughtful or not. Um, and I don't, does that answer the question? Yes, and I've been impressed with you. You are such a thoughtful filmmaker. I actually reviewed a movie of a first time director and it wasn't great. And for my viewers, I couldn't say, oh, it's great. Everybody go out, you know, and see it. I mean, I encourage my audience to watch movies, but I shared some tips, things that I thought would have made it better. And I was so impressed that he uh, commented on my YouTube channel and said, hey, you know, your points were valid. I appreciate you pointing this out or mentioning that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. We ended up having this long conversation, you know, in the little comment section. And I really admire filmmakers who recognize there's room for growth. So if you were to go back and redo any movie based on maybe 
I don't know, uh, advice from or tips from reviewers or even audience members, is there one that you would redo or you just feel like, no, moving on and making new stuff with the lessons learned? For me? Sure. Well, then we'll get it, Kelly, in a second. I mean, I, well, for me, when I'm done with it, I'm sort of done with it. You know, like, I, I can't really think, you know, there's always things that you would do differently or change or, you know, little details that you would do differently. I mean, but I can't really think, like, knowing what I know now and where all those movies ended up really that much that I would do differently. I think, you know, I'm sort of, I sort of live with what I chose, you know, and I know why I chose it at the time. And Yeah, you know, that's actually... <laughs> That's a great answer. Kelly, how about you? About reviews and... Yeah, I, I think I, I agree with Russell that, you know, if, if, the, if the critic is, is thoughtful and really watched the film and really gave it their full attention and maybe even watched it multiple times to get all the nuances, I think, um, you know, an honest, thoughtful, uh, subjective, because I'd like to hear the, the opinion and the subjective take from from the critic but i think again if it's not sort of attacking in in some way or it's it's biased for some other reason that's that's outside of the actual content of the film i think that 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 makes it a good review um and then in terms of changing things i think i also agree with russell where for me it's almost like a tattoo you know where you know i have i have tattoos that i got a decade ago that I look at now and I'm like, what was I thinking? But I also get to the point where I can appreciate it and go, that was me at that time. And that's where I was at. And I think it marks a certain point in 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 your life's history. And so I, I wouldn't want to change anything um, with any film that I've made. Uh, I love that answer. And what a great analogy. And it really does mark your growth where you were at that time. Right. And I, what I love about both of you is that you're all about the art. And this movie, Lauren and Rose, is a real celebration of art. And there's a line from the movie, Lauren and Rose, where Jacqueline Bissett's character says, a lot of great art is not about understanding. It's about letting the experience just wash over you. And I felt that with this movie, for sure. Um, tell me about what you were going for. What are the feelings that you both wanted the audience to end up with after this movie? Well, you know, the, the, the real end of the movie is, is the, the feeling of sort of like ephemerality, you know, like how there are these kind of things in life that happen and they're kind of moments and then they're just gone. And that's, there's sort of a sadness and a joy about that, you know? And so that kind of feeling of, of kind of like how delicate everything is, especially in relationship between people, that, I guess that was really the, the feeling that I was going for. And then it's funny, but, you know, I, there's a lot of lines I like in the movie, but I love the way Jacqueline delivered that line about, about art washing over you. Cause I think it's true. Like if you think too much about what, when you're, when you're experiencing something, sometimes that ruins it and you just have to kind of like let go and experience. I love that answer. And especially as it pertains to life in general, part of the story, well, the big part of the story is this relationship between this aging actress who has had fame and fortune and this new up and coming filmmaker and their relationship throughout the decades. And then the sadness, as you mentioned, when, I don't know, is this a spoiler? If I say what happens to her? So she passes. And I love the way that the movie described how all of her belongings, all of her things, her trophies throughout her life are just displayed on the table and people are buying and selling them and her memories kind of go into dust and there is we don't know if she, we don't know if she passes by the way really what she sort of disappears okay well i was assuming then <laughs> but it definitely resonated with me because i just lost three parents in three months and we've been going through their things wondering you know what is this life all about? Because you can't take anything with you. And ultimately, it's all about relationships, isn't it? And um, okay, well, 
I'm cutting into Kelly's answer to that question, but I thought that was so touching. Okay, Kelly. <laughs> In terms of in terms of what I, what I would have hoped um, people took from it is I wanted to serve Russell's script and his story because it is his film and he wrote it and and I know that it was it, it was very personal to him in a lot of ways and so for me I just thought uh, if I can give everything of myself and and just be honest and try to connect it with something personal with me then then hopefully it will exude what Russell hoped uh, the the totality of the story would. Um, so that was, that was my hope in terms of, of that. And, and, and with art washing over you, I think similar to Russell, you know, sometimes I watch a lot of films and, you know, I watch, I watch a lot of films at home and sometimes you can get caught up with, with thinking too much or getting distracted. And I try to just imagine myself in a theater and I do go to theaters still, but in a theater, I think you're much more, you know, um, susceptible for it to wash over you because you're in a dark room you're closed off from all distraction and i think even sometimes on an airplane a film can wash over you because there's you know you're just trapped in this space and so yeah i agree that that's when it has its most uh most impact i love that and i'm grateful that theaters are open again i love hearing the audience react it just amplifies the whole experience as you're describing. So back to that oh, idea of legacy and what do we leave behind and the relationships and all of that. How do you two both want to be remembered? Now I'm not you know, rejecting your demise anytime soon, but for, this is a question for both of you. And fill in the blank. When I think of Russell Brown, his movies are blank or you know same thing with kelly you know what do you want people to say oh his movies are blank i think aside from aside from films you know i i'd i'd, I'd oh. hope that people would think oh he was a great uh, a great father or a great brother or you know uh, a kind human being um like i remember fondly of of family members that had passed um in terms of of the the films or anything um you just hope that they would say they were they were honest and authentic and were very much in line with with who who he was and he shared that openly the good and the bad and i guess like i guess the things that come like i i i sort of like to be sort of thoughtful and rigorous you know like if the movies are kind of thoughtful and they're also kind of rigorously made you know i guess that's how i that's the sort of bar i set for myself i guess okay good now i know Kelly is a, a director, an actor, a musician. And so before we started, Russell was sharing about there's some singing in the movie when Jacqueline Bissett actually sings. So you want to share that little story with us? Because I thought it was kind of cute. Oh, what I was saying was I was rehearsing with Jacqueline one day. We were going through the script and she was just like, I can't sing. I won't sing. No singing. And I was like, well, singing is kind of really important in the movie because it's like this bookend that happens in the movie. And she's like, well, you sing. And I was like, fine. And I started like, I started like bellowing Joni Mitchell. I started singing Big Yellow Taxi. And she kind of looked at me and she was like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing if I must. And then so that was, you know, she, Jacqueline did occasionally test me in that way. Like she was sort of like, you do it. And I was like, okay. That's cute, really cute. All right, so we are almost out of time. I knew this was going really? to go like too fast. Okay, so we're going to play this or that. Answer very, very quickly. TV series or movies? Which do you prefer? Movies. Movies. Okay. Movies. Uh, take out or dine out? Take out. Dine out. <laughs> Video games or books? Books. Ninjas or pirates? Pirates. Pirates. Fantasy or drama? Drama. Mm, fantasy. <laughs> Art gallery or history? Art gallery. Art gallery, yeah. Art gallery. Okay, last one. Scary movies or comedy? Comedy. Comedy. Oh, you guys, it has been such an honor and a privilege to spend a few minutes with you. I am a huge fan. So I will be watching your careers and see all of the new things that you're up to. Where can people find you? 
Well, the movie is at, at laurenandrose.com and that's kind of the best place to find where the movie's screening and to, we're doing this sort of one week period where you can rent it if you're outside of where the movie's opening theatrically. So if you're not in New York and you're not in Arizona and you're not in Louisiana, you can rent it for one week and stream it. And uh, yeah, and that's where you can find me too. Awesome, Kelly? What Russell said. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it is truly, it is a lovely movie. I felt like I was having dinner with two good old friends and just enjoying the banter and the profound dialogue and the conversations and the lessons. Thank you so much again for the opportunity. And truly, I'm just um, super impressed with both of you. It's wonderful to know that there are such thoughtful filmmakers out there like you two. Oh, thank you so much. Those questions were, were awesome. I, I want to check out all your reviews. I'm going to find you. <laughs> uh well yeah you'll i'll have my lauren and rose review up here i am i think the embargo lifted today i can now i can't remember no i think it lifts tomorrow um, actually next week oh next week okay well whenever it is that's when it'll go up and it'll be all wonderful comments because i thought the movie was really special all right have Thank a fantastic you. day and i that will was talk so to fun. the next one you Bye too thanks for watching the film yeah. all right Bye. <laughs>